I wanted to make a video going over the basics of what these devices are and, of course, what they are not. Um, what you see in front of you is a NM miner, and then this one is a nerd miner. The, this one's not plugged in. I don't actually know what firmware is on this, but all three of these are identical, except they have different firmwares on them. The basic premise here is that these are development boards that have a chip on them that are capable of running the process to mine Bitcoin. You're hashing, you're making attempts at trying to solve the Bitcoin question, and that keeps the network secure. And if you do happen to be the first one to find a combination, you get a reward. The current reward is over three Bitcoin, so it's very lucrative. Now that we've talked about the basics of that, that leads me into the next, what these are not. These are not income. These will not produce money for you. They are not money printers. What these are, are solo lottery miners. So you are putting a tiny little drop in the Bitcoin network bucket, and you may, you may just be lucky enough to find the right combination at the right time, and your wallet will get that three Bitcoin reward. The likelihood of that happening is very small, but there is a chance, and let's be, let's be real, look how cool these things are. So when you have these sitting on your desk, not only are you actually doing something, actually participating in something, but it looks cool as heck. That's one of the reasons that people actually buy these. They're cool desk toys with a purpose. There's a little bit of a lottery element to it. There's a little bit of a learning tool element with Bitcoin and mining, and it's got a cool touchscreen display with the Bitcoin price and the time, and it's got a flashing LED on them. Um, very cool. So as far as power usage goes, these are not big rigs. You're not getting a ton of hashing power, but the trade-off is they make no heat. They make a little bit of heat. It's warm to the touch, um, but it's nothing that you need to worry about. It's not a fire hazard, and all it's using is standard USB-C power. Now, I mentioned before how the firmwares are different. Um, these are the same exact pieces of hardware. It's just the firmware controls the speed and the features and the limitations of each device. Uh, this one's open source, this one's closed source. If you're into tinkering or if you're into Bitcoin or you like uh, desk gadgets or you need a gift for somebody who is like I just described, that is who these are for. Um, whether you have one of them or you have 10 of them, they are one of the coolest things that you can have on your desk. In order to get started, this one may not be set up. We're going to check it out. To get started, all you do is plug it in when you get the device. You'll get a setup screen here. And yeah, this one's not even set up. So right now, this is broadcasting a Wi-Fi network. We'll connect to it, we'll put in our settings, and it'll just run and run. Once this one is set up, it would start looking like this. And it would just run and run and run. One of the coolest things with these devices is all the gadgets and accessories that you can buy and 3D print for them. Um, this is a fan stand. There's a fan in the top here, pushes air in, down, and through this channel. Your miner sits on it and uh, cools itself. And then if you're running multiple units, uh, I sell a ton of these. These are very, very popular. These are multi-device stands. So it works just like this other one. Device goes in here. And it keeps them nice and organized on your desk. Now this is the four, four minor one, but I obviously only have three out here right now. So if you're looking for either a nerd miner or an NM miner, they are available in the Miner Man USA store. Uh, like I said, the NM miner is a few dollars more expensive, but it is because there's a license fee with that. These are all the same devices. They're all shipped quickly, and they all have USA support on them. The link will be down in the description if you want to buy one. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below, and I'll answer everything as best I can.